the, uh, the system has been mixing now for quite a while. So what I'll do is I'll um, just take this feeder tube out of here, fill up my little cup. Oops. This is the way I actually check the uh, the concentration and the uh, pH. I just use a, a kitchen mixing cup, take a feeder out, take feed directly at the um, at the plant. Okay, we've taken the uh, the sample back over to the the workbench. I'll just put the old blue light truncheon in. We're getting a bit of a flash. Let's see if I can bring that up. Okay, it's flashing at ah upside down. It's flashing at an EC of one, which is 500 on the 500 scale and 700 on the 700 scale. For those that aren't familiar with the blue light truncheon, um, basically it's just a an EC meter. Um, it gives you four scales. Um, like it's got the the CF. In the first scale, the EC, then the 500 scale, which is apparently the American TDS scale, and then it's got the 700 scale, which is um, well, the easy way to work this out is an, an EC of 1 is 500 TDS, 700 on the 700 scale, 700 parts per million. This is my pH pin. Uh, uh, bung it in, turn it on, and see what comes up. Uh, 6.7. That's not too bad. I'm happy enough with that. That'll drop over the next couple of days. This is my uh, TDS pin. I'll just put it in. What are we reading? We're reading 7.56. Yeah, that's, that's alright. I was reading 700 on the... Oh, this, this pen's calibrated to the 700 scale. I've got some... Um, I'll just turn that off. Yeah, this is buffer fluid which is um, calibrated to 1800 on the 700 scale. And that pen sits within 10 on it. And I've got some zero buffer which I've used to calibrate it as well so it's, it's pretty accurate so we've got 700 ish on the the blue light and we've got 775 on the TDS pen so that, that's reasonable 